All right, man, so look, we're back at it again with another crazy video. Now, before we get to the video, I need y'all to answer the poll question of the day. Now, today's poll question of the day is, what is enough money for y'all? Okay, just if you could get any type of any amount of money right now, what will be enough just for you to handle until, you know what I'm saying, whatever business you want to start, whatever it is, what will be enough money for you? Me personally, I said, just give me a little 500K. I'll be good. Okay, 500K right now, I'll be straight. And I could just, you know, keep investing and keep working and keep doing my thing and just stack that money up, up, up. You know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. But without further ado, hit the like button, subscribe to no post notifications, follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing, man? Follow your boy on IG. Also, I'm starting my podcast channel actually tomorrow. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm starting my podcast channel tomorrow. So y'all need to go ahead and subscribe. Y'all don't want to miss out. Without further ado, let's get to another crazy video. With Jesse Lee Peters. You've been a homosexual all your life, you said earlier, right? Um, at the age of nine, at the age of nine, I um, I I knew that I like that I like the same sex. Yes. How did you become that way? At the age of nine, that's crazy. At the age of nine, I, I didn't become that way. I just I knew that that was my innate nature to be to 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 like men. And so, how did your nature go from a natural nature? of being a man or male to an unnatural nature of becoming a woman. How did that happen? <laughs> you said the unnatural nature. <laughs> what? How did you, how did you, wait, hello, Jesse. A natural nature of being a man. How did you become a natural nature of being a man to a, or male to an unnatural nature of becoming a woman? How did that happen? So, you said the unnatural nature of me becoming a woman? Yeah, how, you know, you, if you were born a natural male, right? You're born a natural male. Right, you were, right? I'm an, I, am a, I am a male currently sitting here in front of you. But how did you go from being a natural male to an unnatural woman? Who's an unnatural woman? But isn't oh. homosexuality is like being a, a female feelings? No. What is it? No. What is it exactly? Being, being gay is... Are being being gay, being a homosexual, whatever term like um, that that a person wants to right. use to identify themselves, it's an innate state of being. It means that this this is who that person is. It, it, if I'm not a woman, I I'm a man sitting here in front of you having a conversation. I have a penis, just like you have. Well, a you penis. do have the male parts, but not in cutting that off too. Did you hear about that? We'll get to that. But do you feel in inwardly? Do you feel like a Jesse is freak Jesse, dude. You're going to get canceled, bro. You are literally like, dog. You can't be asking this man questions like that, bro. Seriously, I mean, this man is really coming at this dog neck, bro. Is this a gay past? What a gay pastor? Pastor get pastor guest walks also. So he's a pastor, and he's ah. Oh, this is wild. I don't even want to say what I got to say because, to be honest, YouTube be at people next. I, I can't say. I don't want to get flat by YouTube. You know what I'm saying? But, whew. Male or you feel like a female? I am a male sitting here in front of you. No, but what do you, what do you feel I like? I feel like a male. And inside? I am, I am a male oh, sitting here in front I, of I realize that, but inside, do you feel like a man or you feel like a woman? I am a male sitting here in front of you. So that answers your question, right? I, know, I don't feel like anything because I am a male. You don't feel like neither male nor woman? I am a male sitting here in front of you. I realize that, but, but what made you think you're a homosexual then? If there's not a what feeling on your side, why do you think you're Homosexuality a homosexual? is not a feeling. It's a state of being. It's, a, it's who the person innately is. Uh, it has nothing to do with... I'm be honest. At nine years old, like, first of all, Jesse, you... Jesse, you are freaking unstoppable. You are a hilarious, dog. You are freaking hilarious. I mean, you serious, you literally repeating it. One thing about Jesse, you know what makes him so funny is that he repeats the question over and over again. But it'd be, it be serious questions, but it'd be so funny because it's like they will answer him, but he'll repeat it again because it's not the answer that he's looking for. But they, they, they will answer him again and they repeat it again. Jesse is hilarious. But I will be honest, at nine years old, bro, you truly don't know what you want, okay? Look, everybody know my prayer. I, I gave my testimony on my uh, on my channel. If you want to go see my testimony video of how I came from being 
how I came from not knowing who I was. You feel me? Like, I didn't know if I like men or women. Like, if you want to see that testimony, that's all. That's like, if you just scroll down, you can see that video. Okay. I gave my testimony. Um, But I was young. You know, I didn't know what I wanted. I, I didn't know. You you truly don't know. You just, you feel me? You just think you know, but you honestly don't know. You know what I'm saying? Then for you to be a pastor at that. Ooh, it's a lot of things I could say, but you know what? I know how YouTube gets. So, you know, I'm going to just shut my mouth on that portion. And once again, I'm not, I don't bash the gay community. I don't bash them. Okay. I love everybody. I truly love everybody. I don't like the things that they do. I don't like the sin, but I love them. You feel me? I don't love the sin, but I love them. Just how God is. He don't love the sin, but he love everybody. That's how I am. That's sim simply how I am. I may not like what you do. I may not support what you do. But at the end of the day, you're still human. You make your own decisions. So guess what? I'm going to respect you for being just a human being because I know you have feelings. So I'm going to respect you. But I may not support what you do. You see you see what I'm trying to say? But that's just how I am. So don't think I'm out here just, oh, you don't like the game. But no, I just don't support what they do. But I, I respect them as people because they're still people and they're still my brothers and sisters, my brothers and sisters in Christ regardless. So... Yeah. That's my take on it. Has nothing to do with creating a feeling that that you're talking about. It's an innate, it's it's the innate nature of who that person is. I innately am who I am. Me being gay or or homosexual has nothing to do for me with being a man. It has everything to do with my preference and who I choose to sleep with. What does the word? And innately mean. What does that mean? I'm black and slow. I don't know what that means. The word innate. Uh -huh. The word innate means that. Yo, I'm black and slow. <laughs> Bro, we just said I'm black and slow. Bro, what did bro? What did he just say? Why did he just say that was just so random? I'm black and slow, so can you explain? It? <laughs> oh my god, bro! I ain't never laughed this hard in my life. I ain't never laughed this hard on the video before. But that that jump was just that jump just took me out. I'm black, and, <laughs> I'm black and slow. Can you explain to me what that word means? <laughs> Jesse is something else, bro. Oh my gosh, to sleep with. What does the word? And innately mean. What does that mean? I'm black and slow. I don't know what that means. The word innate. Uh -huh. The word innate means that it is that you. I'm not changing. Or I'm not becoming something else. I am who I am. Uh, just before we started the show, you said that you introduced your. Uh, is he your husband or your wife? Is that your husband? <laughs> you gonna be your husband or your wife? Jesse. I'm gonna end this interview. Right. Why? Because yeah. I because we're ending this right now. Why you want to end? We're ending it. Well, Take, right, this come back. Take this off. Jesse, you are freaking wrong, bro. Like this man. The funny thing about it is that he gonna have the nerve to say <laughs> he gonna say so. Hold on, come back with like a blank face, like as he didn't say nothing wrong in this situation. Technically, he really didn't. Okay, and I'm not saving up for Jesse. You know, when somebody's wrong, they're wrong. But I mean, he he asked a serious question. I always want to know that too. I'd be so serious. Like I'd be just like, when you see two, you know, you see two men together, it's like, who, 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 which one is the wife and which one is the you? Hear me? I'd be so confused sometimes, and I feel like kids be confused about that too. They could they be walking down the street with their parents. They got their mama. They got their daddy. Right. And then they see two men that got holding hands and doing this and doing that. They're they going to be confused too. Like, hold on. What's going on here? Which one is which? You feel me? Because, I mean, that, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But I, Jesse told about so hold on, come back. So, like, he just said it's so nonchalant. Like, he didn't say nothing. Nothing wrong. Hold on, come back. <laughs> Jesse is a, Jesse is a freaking comedian. It's right now. Why you want to end? We're ending it. Well, Take right, this come off. Back. Take this off. When you want to have a real conversation, I'm having, me. I'm, no, you're bullshitting me, come and back. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Come take this off of me. I'm gonna take it with me. But why are you? Why are you running? Come take this off of me. I'm gonna take it with me. Please take it off of me. Really? Because you're, you're disrespecting me. But no, man, so, you really. Please take it off. Am I I'm asking take a really serious me. question? No, I'm saying just let me take. They're recording. They're trying to get a reaction. What's up? It's okay. Oh, no, be quiet.
No, there's no okay, one. So. Oh. Just take it off. Yeah. But yeah, tell me it, why you're running. Down? I'm not running, sir, but when you want to have a real conversation, we'll get, we'll, you have my information. You but you said me. that you're going to. When you want to have a real conversation. When you said when that you want to have a real conversation. You said you're going to marry this guy. Yeah. When you want to have. He's a guy. You're calling him a female. You're being disrespectful. I, I asked if you were calling him husband or wife. I mean, it, it, it's not really. If you think about it, it's not really disrespectful. I mean, because if you're going to act like a female, I might as well call you one too. You feel me? I mean, Seriously, I, I, that's how I'm saying it. If you want to act like that, you want to, you know, you a whole grown man and you want to, if you want to do all that, then I mean, you trying to act like one, so I, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Come back. Do you want to be interviewed? No. Oh. Amazing. Well, they gone. Oh, amazing. They go on and walk away. So the deal is, that was uh, Pastor Kurt D. Thomas. And Kurt D. Thomas is a senior pastor of the Renewed Church of Los Angeles. And he is a admitted homosexual pastor. And what he does is he works with men. They uh, host a motley men's group, they say. Uh, so I wanted to know about all that, but during the, just before we started the show, he introduced this other male, a black male, that he said that they were going to get married soon. And I know that these people are doing that and they're calling a marriage. So I wanted to just kind of lay out that first. I had no idea that he was going to run because if they are proud of being what they are and they say that it's normal, you would think that they would want to talk about it, but yeah. apparently not. And so I don't know what's gonna happen, but he's gone. There's a, I know you. But he gone. <laughs> but he gone. <laughs> oh my god! This man Jesse has to be the most funniest person I literally have ever watched. I think that's the. I think this is the most I ever laughed on the video. Like I watched funny videos before, but I think this is the most I have ever laughed. Like literally I needed that laugh, bro. Jesse, you are a freaking goat, okay? Now, with the whole situation with this gay pastor and things like that, I I never want to tell people just live your life, live your life. I, I truly never want to tell people that, but at the end of the day, you know, everybody's human. And I mean, hey, let 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 the living live. You feel me? The simple as that. Let the living live. I, Because at the end of the day, if, if he's like that and you try to change his mind, I mean, to be honest, it's just, it's hard to change people's mind. It, like, you can't change nobody. That's God's job. The only thing you can do is put a seed into a person and just pray that that seed grows within that person. Uh, pray that they seek the truth. You feel me? Because I mean, if you're a pastor, you should know that in the Bible, it states about homosexuality. I, I'm just being honest. That's what it says in the Bible. You can't change the Bible. So if the Bible say this is wrong, which it say other things is wrong too, don't get me wrong. We are all human. We all make mistakes. And a lot of things are wrong. Trust and believe me. A lot of things are wrong. Um, gluttony is wrong. So it'd it be like, it, it, you know, I didn't know I didn't know gluttony was a sin until, you know, I got deeper into the Bible and things like that. But that's besides the point. What I'm saying is, you know what's wrong. So for you to be this pastor or be this type of pastor, I mean, hey, like I said, only only God can really change a person and don't judge nobody. If you go judge somebody, judge them righteously. Don't just judge them just to judge them. Judge them righteously, you feel me? But what Jesse did was just hilarious. I'm, I'm sorry, that, that was funny, okay? But y'all let me know what y'all think about the video in the comment section below. Uh, <laughs> I love y'all, man. God bless, stay blessed. Peace. <laughs> they gone.